Best players on the circuits. This is going to be a battle. Boy, do we got a treat here, Scott. And here's Randy Moss right off the jump. Spins. And that's where Volterax will go to work at the 28-yard line. And the thing about Volt is his stick work is world class. He might not always have, you know, the best game plan or the best play calling, but his stick work often gets him out of some funky situations. Let's go see if Killer Mike can deal with that. Killer Mike was flourishing last year at the club championship as well. So first and 10 at the 28. We talked about those guys setting their audibles before they get into the game. Sort of a gentleman's agreement. And these are tough games because on the other side, you got Prime and you got Juan, a.k.a. FMB Monster. But we'll be getting a lot of updates over there as we finish up the NFC. And a nice truck there as Marshawn Lynch takes it out to the 41. Yeah, you got to watch out for Volt. You know he's going to have good stick work on those trucks with Lynch. And he's, he's a very good passer, but he has a very underrated run game. Volt is able to get it done on the ground, and that phenomenal stick work that he has is a big part of that. So first and 10 at the 41. You're not going to see a lot of emotion from either one of these players either, Scott. They're both very locked in and very focused. Hand off to Marshawn. Bottled up in the backfield. Two carries for 11 yards now. I'm, I'm waiting to see Volt air it out, too. You know he's going to have something glitchy on offense when he passes the ball. Everything is glitchy does. when it comes to Juan. I'll have to take a look at that one throughout. Shave the mustache. Yeah, Juan, Juan loves that that's glitchy like, That's saying. like Samson cutting his hair. I, I'm not sure about all that. But I'm, what I'm saying is I don't think Juan's the only one that's glitchy. I think, <laughs> I think Volt's got some of it in him, too. Nice find out to Marshawn. Steerable spin backwards, transition straight into the truck. And that's just all him. That's all Volt Direct stick work right there. It's one of my favorite players to watch. I call him the Phenom. He's just so young. And he does things where he'll play three different accounts for weekend league and go 74 and 1. <laughs> Nobody really plays as much Madden as Volty. Third and three here out near. Midfield on the opening drive for Volt. Big play right here. Cunningham in the gun. Hands it off to Marshawn. And we're going to have a fourth down situation. Nice job in the backfield by Killer Mike. So fourth and two. Two minutes already gone by here in the first. Last division. To get through in the NFC. This is big pole train. Some division winners coming up next. As we work our way into the round of 16 on the side of the NFC. Pitch to the outside on fourth and two. Needs a oh, block. Oh. Didn't get it. And Killer Michael have a turnover on downs. He'll have the ball. After a nice stop on Volterax. That was good stick work by Killer Mike to click on to the force defender. Cut off the outside. First force Volterax back inside to the traffic. Really good click on right there by Killer Mike. He just always plays so good in these club championships, Scott. Fell apart part last year in the MCS Final 32. But before that, he's running out of time. Wentz got a block and then an awkward throw. I'll bring up second and ten. Yeah, I'm telling you, the emotion meter for both of these players, man, you're not you're not going to get much from them. You'll be stone faced, not messing around. Second down. Carson looking and throwing. And Jerry Rice at the 30. I like to see that. I like to see that. Not a lot of people run. A lot of cover two out here in the tournament when you can get it in between that cloud flat and the safety pass lead it outside. Sometimes throw a little high pass. It's a good like 15 to 20 yard dot. 
There's McKinnon. You saw how big he was for a lot of players in this tournament. Spot me. Spot me will be playing tomorrow. There's a lot of McKinnon. But look at all the sure hands he has. He's at Rice, Harrison, Chris Carter, Sharp. That's a good passing attack. Had B wow. and found B. Touchdown. Swag it. It's Killer Mike. And Getting look, disrespectful. And look, what I tell you, nobody's blinking, nobody's cheering. There's the two guys that are here to take care of business, how will both directs respond. And when you saw both of the clubs, the Cardinals and the Seahawks, they were both excited about these guys representing them. Those Cardinals employees after were like, man, we like our chances with this both directs guy. And Killer Mike obviously took care of business for the Seahawks last year. Yeah, both of those club championships for Arizona and Seattle had a lot of fireworks. Thought he missed B, and then he found B. And, and then swag on 100,000 trillion. One thing I want to mention, Coltrane, is Killer Mike, though he is the defending club champion, last year there was only eight clubs involved in the tournament. So the tournament, you know, though it was hard to win, it was a lot easier than this year when you have 32 of the teams all being representative. That's why this year feels so much bigger as you literally grew that much. You went from 8 to 32 in one year. That's what you got to love about competitive gaming and Madden. It's just the rapid growth in this thing. Thousands upon thousands of players. We had a hundred of them here in Orlando. Started two days ago. Now we got 32 and We've seen some guys move on to the divisional round, and we also have seen some guys take home some parting gifts. Yeah, and th th we should mention out of all four players playing in both of these games right now, everybody's in a do-or-die situation. None of them have enough points to qualify for that ultimate league unless they can make real runs here in this tournament. I'm talking Final Four championship-type runs. So all of these guys' tournament lives on the line. RG's referring to the ultimate league that takes place at the conclusion of the club championship where 16 of the top Madden players will play a 10-game season head into the playoffs. There's over a $500,000 prize pool in that ultimate league. $1.15 million this year in the Madden prize pool. We've still got a lot of that left. Oh, man. Oh. Bovair talking about the ultimate league and Volt. Yeah, turned it over. Turned it over Once on again on downs. downs. And the, the thing that hurts him right now is Killer Mike is just right there in field goal range. He's just going to run this ball, try to not turn it over and make it a two-possession game. And remember, Volt got the ball first, so Killer Mike in complete control right now. Volte's going to need to make a play. Seven-yard gain. But Jarek McKinnon on first down brings up a second and three for Keller Mike. Yep. Both of these guys are a tough out. Oh, they are. And Bolt, 20 years old. Keller Mike, 27 years old. We're in the NFC West. Cardinals and Seahawks. And we also got the 49ers with Juan playing the Rams, who are controlled by primetime. 7-0 here at the start of the second quarter. In prime time, I mean, talk about a consistency. A three-time Madden Challenge regional winner made the New England club last year. And there is a sack That's at big. the quarterback. It's a meeting for Volterax. That's big right there for Volte. That's how you get some momentum if you're the Phenom. You got to get Killer Mike out of field goal range, which it looks like he does right there. This is a big down right here, Scott. If Volt can stinge up and not let him get a chunk. There's no routes there in the middle on that last play. And this time he drops it off to Carter and makes it fourth and ten from the 35. It would be a 52-yarder from there. He's going. He's, He's going. going for it. Oh, no. Remember, he made a living like this off of Kim going for it on fourth and longs, and he would always convert. Jeff Heath is his kicker and out of position, 79 overall, so he doesn't have a strong leg. Throws oh! it to the end zone! Touchdown for C-squared, Chris Carter. Hauls it in for Killer Mike. 
And the Seahawks are now up by 14. And that's the second of the game. Caleb Mike is killing them. And look at that, I told you. Does that look like a man that just went up two scores? He's not happy yet. He's not done. And if you're Volte, you need to respond now. You're the phenom. You usually come out. I don't think we've ever seen him go out in the first round of the tournament. Nice spin move. Take a look at this again. It is just an absolute bomb. And the coverage is not there for Volt. Oh, what a play on fourth and ten to dial it up like that. A big touchdown. Get the nine route behind him. I couldn't tell if that was Chris Harris Jr. or Steven Terrell who became burnt toast. Definitely burnt toast on that one. So Volt with the rock, trailing by 14. And it's a second and eight from the 35. And if you think Volt's <laughs> gonna roll down, roll over and lay down in this game, you, you might not know Michael Bryan, AKA Volterex. There goes Randall Cunningham. Builds a spin move and slides at the 40. Remember, he came back from down 17 there in Arizona. K-Mac was yelling, it's over. Volterex put on a serious face. Great spin move on Mel Blount. Here we go. Big drive here, Coltrane. Third and two. Clock on the move. 3.20 left to go in the half. And Lynch. Boy, he just cannot get anything going with Marshawn Lynch. He's averaging two yards a carry. Grandpa Volvi drove up here from Massachusetts, but the drive from here, from Mass to Florida, that's nothing to him. Remember last year, he yeah, did the drive did. to California, cheer on his grandson. Still not an easy drive. Hoping his gr grandson can get back to California in the Ultimate League, but he's got a long way to go. Not only in this game, but he play. needs a lot. Nice find to be. And there's the legend, Blitnikoff. They named an award after him, RG. He's that good. Number 25, is that that's what he rocked? Rocked the 25. Vintage. A good bolt, though. He's putting it together here. You could feel him starting to heat up, but he needs to cap this drive off with a touchdown to really get the momentum. And Marshawn try to go double truck there. And it's going to be second and three at the 31. Look at all the goons in the box. Scrambling to the outside. Back Good to the step. inside. And there oh. goes Randall. Oh, be careful though, Volte. What is he doing? That'll take us to the two-minute warning. First and ten for Volt, trailing by two scores. That was nasty stick, Coltrane. He rolled out to the outside. Killer Mike sent the spy crash after him. Volt reverses field, sets up the block, scrambles for the first down. He's putting together a prolific one here. Delayed handoff to Marshawn. Pick up 23. By the way, Marshawn doing some amazing work in those Madden 18 commercials. Oh, my Kills goodness. Me. The one where he sees the game. I didn't know we had a game Man, today. I thought we had a bye week. Let's go. One of the better characters we have in the NFL. Oh, he's absolutely fantastic. Second and six. Oh, he's open. A is open. And Davis hauls it in at the eight-yard line. Vernon Davis. All the way back to the Thanksgiving version, that Madden Harvest. It's a good item. That Thanksgiving promo was a good promo in month. A lot of good content came out of that one. Double tight end here, first and goal from the eight. I like the single back ace formation. These balance formations are hard to stop, Coltrane. You never know if it's going left or right. You see him flipping that play, but nobody motions. Marshawn needs blockers. Oh! Able to truck oh! one. Somehow gains a couple. It's hard to truck from that angle, Coltrane. When you run into the outside like that and you're not straight up field. He's able to lower the shoulder there and take it to the six. Take some serious stick work to pull that one off. But These next two downs are huge for Volt. Trying to make a quick throw. Nothing was there. Then oh. Playmakers and throws it low. That was scary.
These guys make me nervous. They make me very nervous. It's the complete opposite of what we saw with Mustafa. Mustafa. Nothing there again. He wants He's to throw it to X. He's and firing! Angle. He's short. Got to go. It's fourth. You got to go. Oh, this is it. This is going to be a huge play, Coltrane. Like I said, tournament lives on the line. Bolt directs the Phenom trying to take on the defending champion, Killer Mike. Trying to go back to back, 9 to 6 and 9 to 7. So, fourth and goal. 115 to go, and I, I picked up the controller again. I'm going to hold down A. We're going to go straight through halftime again. Good. Keep it rolling. I know you like that. I'm just trying to make you happy, RG. Very happy. This is big, Coltrane. Well, he handed off to Vernon Davis here. He's going to pull back dive in. That's where he goes. Hey! Touchdown, Bolt. He's back in this one. Wow. And look at it. Like you said, they're making me nervous. The stakes are high. Everything's on the line, and nobody wants to blink. No one wants to celebrate. Everyone's still all business. Takes some run. Charles Huevos to go for on fourth and goal from your own one. Woo. And now you got a minute 14. Killer Mike has no timeouts. He needs to be careful here. And Ronnie Lott. So there's a big sequence coming up, Coltrane. The fullback dive to Vernon. Right there on Killer Mike's one. Knocking on the door and he barges his way in. Cuts the lead in half. 70 seconds to go in the half. Big. It's a big minute 10 right here, Coltrane. And there's Jerry Rice. And Killer Mike's gonna, he could get aggressive here until he gets in the field goal range. Once he's in field goal range, he'll slow it down, just try to get the three, make it two possessions. But until then, if you're Bolt, you have a chance to force him into a mistake. You need to capitalize early on this possession if you're Bolt Rex. But you can't give up the big play. And if you have FOMO about the 49ers and the Rams, it's 3-3 over there, so chill. And he just kicked a field goal for Juan, and so it's now 6-3 to three over there. So when something cool happens, Dave will let us know. Well, there's plenty you can, cool. you can, you can rest your, your weary bones there. Nothing's going on over there yet. That's fine. We got plenty going on right here. This is big stuff happening before the end of this second quarter, Scott. Out of timeouts is Mike. Second and six. Oh, there it is, the ball. And he's burning one. He wants the ball back. So third and eight now, 41 ticks to go in the half. And he's got two more timeouts. Take a look at this penetration. You don't see Bruce Arians there on the sideline. He's retired and big sack for Bolt, fourth and 16. Mike's going to have to punt this ball. But if you're Bolt, you got to be careful as well. You only have one timeout, only 37 seconds. I think he's going to try to break a big one with Lynch, Coltrane. We've seen that a couple times today. Oh, no! And it goes off the helmet! Oh, I'm what done! Was that? What treachery did Mike just pull out? I'm done. Pack it up. We're heading out of here. Oh, that was glitchy. It was scum. It was magnificent. Off it the helmet. Oh, no! Of Sam Shields. He's just a bronze player. Leave Sam alone. Oh, Volt's usually the one getting glitchy, but Killer Mike punches him in the mouth with that one. Volt needed to click on and move Shields out the way. And now he needs to get right back on defense and hold him from getting the three. There's no timeout. Things are nuts right now, Scott. Second and 13 now. Clock on the move. Oh, gee. 22 seconds to go in the half. It's ticking. Wentz. Oh, and it's picked oh, off. He's got some room. Get to the outside. Whoa! And that was Derek Brooks, the legend, the former Tampa Bay Buccaneer with the pick. Way to come up big if you both Rex. You needed to prevent Mike from getting points after the scum punt. And he's able to step up. We got ourselves a battle. Cunningham gets away. Has a timeout. Ew. Spins. You got to get down. Get Ew. down. Ew. Get down. Ew. Get down. Oh, a little too sticky for his own good. You scream and get down, Coltrane. He was in field goal range, it looked like. And as I mentioned, we're going to hold down A and go straight through halftime. 
If this is the way the rest of this is going, I might not make it. Oh my goodness, this is bananas. The killer Mike gets the ball, still up seven. And he's got room! Oh, There's no! Ronnie Lott! He doesn't have a horse, but he's going to get there anyway. Touchdown, Seahawks! And Killer Mike casually wipes the sweats off of his hands, ponders, and keeps his cool. I think I'm going to throw up, RG. 21 to 7. Fultz getting his butt kicked on special teams right now. He needs to clean it up. The punt. The kick return, and I don't like the way he's been kicking that ball. He's giving it to him so close and allowing him a chance to return. It's just poor special teams right now by the Phenom. Spin move. And now trailing by 14 once again. This is Ronnie Lott. Right there at the numbers and just cuts it back. And it's some incredible blocking. It it wasn't very fast, RG. <laughs> no, but you say it, it's the block, and Volk's user defender got caught up in a block early downfield. It took him out of the play, and that's what killed him. By the time he clicked on, it was too late. He's already on his horse. 21-7, first and 10 for Volk, trailing by 14. Oh, wow, what a situation. You're in Volk, but if you can get a drive here, put some pressure back on Mike. And he goes to Bolitnikov who works his way to the 41. What's going on with uh, Juan and Prime, Dave? We finally got some action over here, guys. A slow start to this game, 3-3. Monster with a huge pick and then a deep touchdown pass. So 13-3 there the over there. There's the right there. Yeah. Juan fired up. It's 13-3. Back to you guys. Appreciate it. Shave the mustache. I don't know what to do with that. But it's working. He looks so much younger now. 21 to 7 over here. I mean, Juan's only uh, 21 years old. But when he had that mustache, he could have passed for about 25. Now he looks like he's 19. This is big right though, right now, though. Bolt putting this drive together to scratch it for some momentum back. And like we told you, he's not out of this game just yet. He's not going to give up. He's not going to quit. A world class player that can put up points in a hurry. Quick throw. And there's Marvin Harrison still on his feet. First down at the 35 for Volt. How big does Marvin Harrison look out there? It's huge. He looks huge. I don't remember him being big like that when he played. First and 10 now. Here comes Lynch. Here comes Lynch. And Marshawn will get held at the. 35-yard line. Let's do it again. Second and 10. Just battling. Look at the focus, man. I'm telling you, you need to be able to focus and lock in like these competitors are doing if you want to be able to play Madden on this high of a level. All that complaining and screaming wrecks, it ain't going to do nothing for you when you get to this big stage. Has B. Oh, no! Ugly. Third Under and 10. pressure outside the pocket. He didn't show much emotion, but a little little shake of the head there from Volt. 21 to 7. Third and 10 at the 35. Audibles from the trips tight end to the wide trips. Look at that user on the Moss side. He's got room. Why didn't you run, Volty? He showed fantastic stick with Cunningham besides, you know, before the end of the half. Look at this, Scott. Does he think he's beyond the line? Oh, there's no. so much room to just run. This is it. This is big. He knows it. Fourth and ten. And he's going to use a timeout. That's how big this is. Yeah, young Michael Bryant's not messing around on this play. You give Killer Mike all the momentum and complete control of the game if you can't convert right here. Remember, Killer Mike hit Volt for a touchdown on fourth and ten. Can Volt return the favor? Drips to the right. That deep crossing route from Belindikoff. Gotta yeah, watch this A route, too. Moss. It's pretty glitchy with Vernon Davis. Looks like Moss has a free release on the outside, too. Out route with the slot. 
Keeps Davis in the block. Got to let it rip. Oh, That's no! it. Sack backed into 39, and Killer Mike's got the rock once again. Big Killer. time sack by Mike. Yeah, that's huge. Killer Mike is now in complete control. And his chances of repeating the, as the club series champion just grew us substantially. Wait, he's passing still. There's Chris Carter. Wow. Up the sideline to the 41. He knows how powerful Volt's offense can be, and so he's keeping the pedal down. And I like, when you ever talk to Killer Mike about his game plan, he's the type of guy, he practices a lot. He says, I'm prepared for everything. You're not going to catch me off guard. I practice against all the meta defenses. And he's showing how well prepared he is right now. Has a open, but cannot get two feet in bounds. Let's go over to Rico. What's going on, my man? Monster can play more than just offense. Wait till you see him lock in here on defense. Grabs that pick. Tiptoes right here to make sure he's in bounds. And he's moving on. Back to you guys. Wow. Thanks, Rico. Big time interception there by Monster. And Killer Mike just keeps marching down the field, Archie. And both the guys who were the only two to repeat their club championships, both taking care of business right now. Showing why they're so consistent. And I will say I like what Killer Mike's doing here, Scott. He's got he's up two possessions. He hasn't gone too conservative. He's just running his offense. And when you have some room for error, it's okay to take some of these shots. Because the defense is gonna be playing run. They're gonna be giving you that stuff up top. And even if you don't convert, it's not the worst thing in the world. You just don't get to kill as much clock, but you could really put your opponent away. I like when people get aggressive sometimes in this situation. That's the Twitch Prime legend, Richard Dent, who jumped into the neutral zone. That'll give a fresh shot of downs Look, he's still to passing. Killer Mike. He's still, he's still going passing. to the air. Why not Chris Carter? All right, now if you're Killer Mike, you're in field goal range. You're in the dead zone. This is where you got to start running the ball and killing that clock. Put at the 10 and a half. With 1.29 to go in the third, 14-point lead for Killer Mike. Yeah, he has to run the ball right here. It's going to be a draw. Loves the Seahawks. Of course, he's a... Oh! There's a breakaway by McKinnon, and the lead continues to grow for Killer Mike. The Air Force Command Post Controller. Man, you, gotta, you want to talk about where you got to keep your poise. <laughs> You're yeah. the Air Force Command Post Controller. You got to be able to keep your poise. You're probably in some high stressful situations oh, every now absolutely. and then. 28 to 7. We've seen crazier things happen. But it's not looking good for Volt right now. And yeah, Volt's going to have to fight. Look at this again. Wins the tackle battle. Volt does just not look crisp. Usually don't see him make a lot of mistakes. Yeah, and, uh, you know, people gave him a lot of flack last year. They said he was, you know, all he had was that swerve. But then he came out this year, showed him that wasn't the case. Won the first club championship that we had. Dominates weekend league, week in and week out. And I'll be real honest with you. Randall Cunningham does not look good either. His quarterback... Oh, no. Has had a lot of errant throws in this game. Yeah, it looks really bad. That one was well off the mark. He, I mean, he's had some good scrambles, but that one before half where he coughed it up, I mean, cost him tons of momentum. Because that run was nasty. You know, that 75 cap Randy Moss is the player that got him here. So 28 to 7 over here. What's going on on the other side, guys? Well, guys, Monster is looking like he is finally hitting his stride, hitting a deep touchdown pass, Rico. Yep, he made that one move, woo -woo, and it was all to the house from there. 20 to 3, less than a minute left in the third quarter. Back to you. All right, so Monster settling in over on that side, and Volterax has got a huge mountain to climb. Boy, Juan really using Teddy Ginn Jr. there. Yeah, and he still has a ton of speed. And he's going up against the legend in Paul Wearsbaugh. I mean, 
like I said, Rico said, he's a three-time regional Madden Challenge champion back in the day. He said he would have been a four-time had Rico not disqualified him from a tournament for coaching. Still not happy about that. And he came back after last year, his first year back. Made the Pats Club Championship, but he's running into some monsters. Literally the monster. And Juan Velasquez, one of the better new school players we have in the community. Yeah, monster looked really good. Out in San Francisco. First and ten. Trying to get a playoff before the end of the quarter. Lynch. At some point, you're going to have to take some chances downfield. Got to buy some time with Cunningham and hope you can make the throw. Yeah, when we saw Volt in Arizona, he had a couple plays where he could set up the deep bomb to Moss. We haven't seen him take no shots like that yet. Killer Mike just might not be giving him the look he wants. And let me just throw this out there on second and nine. Pose a question after this play. That's a good play. Now that's a good throw by Harrison, so what I'm going to say is null and void here, but the Marcus Mariota snow beast that seems to be one of the metas, he's only 48 cap. That would still have worked within his team as Randall is 51 cap. Could have had three extra cap. But there goes Cunningham again. What's and it might just be that, that spin, spin move. move. That yeah. spin move looks glitchy. That might be the whole reason for keeping Randall. I wonder where the glitchy. I heard Kim saying it up first, but then you heard Juan kind of all over the place. Is it a youth, maybe a youth thing? Yeah, I mean, I think, I don't, I don't know who first coined it, but Juan put his own flair on it. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I try to say what the kids say, sound a little cool, <laughs> so throw it out there every now and then. You know, try to try to sound groovy. Can you dig it, you know, right? Are, 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 am I using that right? Oh Big hit on the outside. Oh, jeez. Fourth and two for Volt. This might be fourth in the game. Yeah, Killer Mike is punching Volt in the mouth right now. Volt needs to stand up for himself right here. We've had close games throughout the day, but this NFC West has gotten a little out of hand. And all that means is... Oh, he's locked. He's locked. A killer Mike. Monster possible divisional game is going to be a really good one. Yeah, and that's cool. And Monster, he has his whole family back home watching. They're all diehard 49ers fans. So when he went back to back to represent those San Francisco 49ers, they couldn't have been more ecstatic. And the Niners organization was happy to see Juan back again. I mean, he's yeah, becoming, oh yeah. a, he's sure. becoming a celebrity in that building over there. Yeah, Buckner that's over what, at that event. I mean, that's what people say. Montana, Rice, Juan. <laughs> I hear it all the time. I hear it all that's the time what they say in San Francisco. <laughs> you did that event, right? You were out there Yeah, Dave, uh, Dave and I were out there. Last year, uh, I did it with uh, Mr. Stephen Gibbons. Wherever he is in this world, hope he's oh, doing well. Gives and falls. You know we love those guys. True Madden pioneers, man. Need to get them back. A out lot there. of us would not be playing Madden without Gibbs and Falls. Uh, when I tell you, 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 I interview so many of these Madden players, and you ask them, hey, what got you into competitive Madden? Twim. And a, a high percent of the time you hear it's that Twim. It's that This, this Week at Madden, Madden show yeah. that Gibbs and Falls consistently did for years and years and years, and they really brought thousands of people into our community. And Joseph McKinnon again has some room. And boy, Killer Mike's probably just going to take the air out of this one. 28 to 7. I feel like this is what we talk about. We usually throw a food reference in there somewhere around this We time have not really... It's only when the it quote gets one, we have really not got glitchy this week. No. No. The meal yesterday was a uh, flop, huh? Yeah, we won't throw them under the bus flop where, where we went. We are out with Boogs and LT, and, LT and User. User. And it was not glitchy. Here so, comes the two-minute warning for Killer Mike. And let's get an update here at the two-minute warning. What's going on, guys? Oh, guys, Monster's been in control 